Hey friend, Molly Carmel here, your coach, your bestie, and most of all, fiercely devoted to your freedom. We're here to help you create a relationship with food that is loving, that is peaceful, that is kind. That's whatever you want it to be, but certainly not one that's abusive and taken over your life. You know what I mean? And one of the ways that we do that is to find food that loves us back. Now, let me tell you something. Back in the day when I was in my super abusive relationship with food, weighing 325 pounds, like eating sheet cakes by the dozen, well, not really by the dozen, but I'll tell you something, I loved me a sheet cake back in the day, <laughs> like a whole one. But anyway, back to the topic at hand. Um, so, you know, I would say that my friends would happily and responsibly have taken a restraining order out on cheat cakes, you know? That was certainly not a food that loves me back. And I, I think this is a wonderful way to start to think about your food, right? Because there are a variety of foods that I love. There are a variety of foods though I haven't had them for many years. Cookies, Kit Kats, you know, M&Ms, like scones, like angel hair pasta. I mean, I'm sort of getting hungry talking about this and I don't wanna make you any more hungry either. But the truth is that when I really think about those foods, they don't love me back. They don't sit in my body right. They don't metabolize in my body in a way that really gives me energy. When I eat them, I want more, 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 more. When I'm eating them and sitting with people, they take me out of that relationship. They make me think about how can I get more? Is this okay? Am I okay, right? Like, and so in a way, well, actually, completely, those are not foods that love me back. And I, I think making this distinction is essential in creating this new relationship with food. Like only welcoming in foods that love you back. Now, I hate diets. In fact, there are lots and lots and lots of videos, there are lots of podcasts I'm on where I talk about divorcing dieting. I mean, to me, divorcing dieting is as essential as to getting into a healthy relationship with food because I actually think you can't have one without the other. So I don't want you to think that I'm sitting here being like, diet food is the only way to go. Oh my goodness, quite the opposite. I, I, I think, I know that there are delicious, abundant, colorful, delightful, delicious, 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 delicious food that loves you back. I know this because I eat this way. And I know this because I hate feeling like I'm on a diet. In fact, the minute I feel, I have a lot of data that supports that the minute I feel like I'm on a diet, like the minute I do not love the food that I'm eating, I am off to the races. I am blowing through stop signs to get back to the abusive food that I used to eat. So for me, eating foods that love me back is an imperative part of my healthy relationship with food. And something that's so interesting to me is that when I broke up with sugar, and so this might not be for you, but it's for many, right? That one of the barriers between you and the foods that love you back is having an unhealthy relationship with sugar. That was the case for me, and that's the case for the thousands and thousands of people that I've treated. And so for me, in breaking up with sugar, my taste buds got a total makeover. Like, because the fact was like, I couldn't, like I, this might sound lame to you, but it's my total truth. But like, I love apples. Like I really love apples, but there wasn't a shot at me loving apples when I was binging on M&Ms and Kit Kats and cupcakes, which was happening often because the quality of, the, of that sugar was so potent and so powerful that my taste was to be like, what is this thing you're putting in me when I would put an apple into my body? 
And so in a way, they do go hand in hand, finding and creating a healthy relationship with food and these foods that love you back. If you have an unhealthy relationship with sugar, is a little bit contingent on it, right? Because rerouting and, and restarting your taste buds is one of the amazing blessings of this breakup. And there's so many more that I could talk about all day, but not on this YouTube video. So what I want to promise you, pinky swear, pinky swear, pinky swear, is that there are so many foods available to you that you can love. And the thing that I actually love is this thing we like to call the internet because there are so many hacks to make the foods that you love that are filled with foods that you don't love into healthy options. Like I have found the most delicious recipes for meatballs, for overnight oats, you know, for things that just help me to love my food like so, so, so much. And this is yours for the taking. Like we, we, I create these Ezekiel bread pizzas with um, Ezekiel tortillas and then a little bit of tomato sauce, a little bit of pesto, a little bit of pepperoni, a little bit of mozzarella cheese, put it in the oven. It's like a dream, you know what I mean? And then, and at the end of it, I'm satisfied. I'm not craving more. I'm not gaining weight hand over fist, you know, which for me is, is a real issue. I have a real capacity to weigh 325 pounds. And so, you know, it's a really loving act to eat those foods. So here I am loving myself, the food's loving me. I'm loving the food. Win, 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 win. So here's your challenge. You want to start to find foods that are in the category of ones that love you back. You might not think it's possible, but as always, I'm going to ask you to please extend your belief just for a moment. There's so many people that I've successfully helped that are in this category, only eating foods that love you back. And listen, if you may be in this category of somebody who's in an abusive relationship and in, held in the grips of a sugar problem, you want to give up sugar first because that's going to open up so many more foods that you're going to love that are gonna love you back. And this is a life that you deserve. So listen, do you have foods that you love and that love you back? Can you share them with this community? Comment section below, get on it. What are foods that you love that love you back? Do you think this whole thing is a hoax? Like no way, Molly, no food that tastes good loves me back. Let me hear about it. I want to know everything. I love me a good comment because it also helps me to like make you more videos that are pointed towards what you need because I'm obsessed with you. <laughs> I love you and I'm fiercely devoted to your freedom. And listen, I'm making these videos all the time. So get on it, subscribe and turn on your notifications. Be the first to know, be on the VIP list of the Molly Carmel videos. I am so excited about everything that's happening. I am here rooting for you hard and I'll see you soon.